Hello, it's Marielle from Aqua Mermaid. Today I will introduce you to mermaids from Las Vegas. Hello, my name is Farasha Desert Siren. I would describe myself very eclectic <laughs> type of mermaid. I would say I'm very exotic, a little bit of Disney, and a little bit of Siren. My name is Mermaid Erin. I'm somewhere along the lines of princess or queen. Ah. Hi, my name is Mermaid Coralina. Oh, I'm the bubbly, goofy mermaid. My name is Mermaid Alicia Amore. Let's see, my name is Dominic. My name is Mermaid Canna, and I'm from Las Vegas. I always loved mermaids. Ever since I was a little girl, I just always thought, man, how can I be a mermaid? And then one day, I just, I saw that you could buy mermaid tails, and it was really as simple as that. I saw a tail one day, I got super excited about them, and then like, next thing I know, I'm saving up money to buy one of my own, and lo and behold, I did. I've been swimming all my life, and have had a huge fascination with mermaid. Now, I turned it into a profession. I never used to swim normal. I always used to pretend I was a mermaid. I feel free, I feel there's no restrictions, happy. I feel great on bringing imagination and wonder to people that are watching me. I really enjoy it. It's absolute tranquility. It's very therapeutic. It just feels so freeing. I just love to lay back and if I'm outside in the sun, I can feel just everything, the water sparkling. I just feel like I'm floating. I guess it's very close to like if I was to go to space. I feel like in my, my own little world, it makes me super happy. It's my meditation, absolute joy. <laughs> when I'm swimming, I feel free. It's the only place that I can go to calm my mind and gather my thoughts. You know, it's, the world is so noisy. Under the water is so peaceful. It makes me feel really good and I feel pretty. Oh, I feel amazing when I put my tail on. It makes me feel free and like I'm a superhero almost sometimes. <laughs> I perform as a mermaid anywhere from children's parties to corporate events. I sing. Go to birthday parties. I go to Renaissance festivals and pirate fairs. I'm a vendor. I like to sell my jewelry. I have my beautiful cherry blossom top. I have another beautiful top here, and I have these shell earrings. I do little girls' birthday parties, adult birthday parties, bachelor parties, mermaid weddings, mermaid yoga. I instruct mermaid classes. I'm mermaid mainly to entertain. I make mermaid crowns. Bridal crown. Little accessories. I also make mermaid tops. The reason I do this is one, to be a magical creature, and two, like it actually is helping me get back in shape. Train, swim, pretty much have fun with it. Being stress free. Entertain children. I do events like Pirate Fest, swim a lot, a great core exercise workout. Tail right here is a Mer Taylor Spellbound with the Triton Flute. You feel like you have a second skin on you. It moves and flows incredibly realistically. My tail is from Mer Taylor. I purchased it in 2012. I would say it's a vintage. And when I'm out of it, I feel really uncomfortable. The flute looks a lot like Mermaids of Tiburon movie. I had to get it. This is my mermaid tail. It's a skeleton mermaid tail, and it's by Swim Tails. I made my own tail. It's a silicone uh, fluke, a lined sequin tail, and I add a heavy-duty heavy zip in it because for us curvier mermaids, we can't slide our tails on if there's not a lot of stretch. In the back, it has elastic. So my tail is a mer tailor tail. The actual Fluke is the last Aztec design that he will ever make, so I actually have a super one-of-a-kind tail. Um, it has a dorsal fin. The colors that I ended up getting were custom, and also it cost me about 3000 I love my tail, it's just a little short. Let's see, when it comes to tails, if you're a little bit taller, just exaggerate your measurements a little bit, <laughs> just so that way you can get that extra length. Just be prepared for a weight. I know it's exciting when you order it, but like the weight alone just it'd be well worth it in the end. My tail that I have now is from Matthew Quijano at Merofen. It's full silicone. 
to how people react, man, they freak out. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's a merman. And all of a sudden, they, it's so real. Imagine walking around with this giant blue thing. Oh man, they trip out. Some people think it's amazing and they love the colors, but it's like most time it's usually like shock for a second. <laughs> Everyone wants to touch the tail and to just talk to the mermaid and just, a lot of times they don't know what to say. They'll just stand and stare. People flip out. They're all like, is that a mermaid? Is that a mermaid? They'd be looking through the window and they'd just see my fit, fin like just splash and they'll just be like, oh my God, it's a mermaid. I need to go take a picture with her. I get a lot of great reactions and they get really excited. It's usually very, very positive. They all have that little bit of child that's in them that comes out. We'll do nothing but smile and laugh and it's all super positive energy. They're so excited. They want to come over and ask me a bunch of questions about being a mermaid, how I started, where I got my tail, if they can join. Some are a little shocked. Some are real happy and excited, interested, and others kind of just don't know what to think. <laughs> like, what is this girl doing in, in a tail? <laughs> Anyone dreaming of becoming a professional mermaid or merman, just believe in yourself. Study all kinds of performers. Learn how they became the best. Take swimming lessons. Create who you are and don't listen to any of the stereotypes that are out there. Do your research on it first. The research that I usually did was more into like the tales, how to really find a tale, the different makers. And it's gonna feel a little weird because like everyone's always thinking mermaid, 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 and it's not really guy thing. But honestly, there are a lot of mermen out there and there's a lot of us that love being a merman. So I mean like, Come on out, show that there is more of us out there. Network, socialize, get to know local mermaids in your community. Make sure that their heart's in it first and to start small. Don't be afraid about just getting a fabric tail. Just getting one and then just being in the water. If you're ever in town in Las Vegas, look me up, Mermaid Canna. You can find me on Facebook, Parasha Desert Siren. Hashtag the Las Vegas Mermaid. It's mermaid.com. Triton Siren with Aqua Mermaids. You can come to our classes right now. They are on the municipal pool in Las Vegas on Bonanza. And we teach little kids seven and up. And we also teach adults. So, and we do birthday parties too. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the pool. <laughs> I'm so excited to be with Aqua Mermaid because now I have a much bigger pod. Thank you. See you later. Love from Las Vegas.